Hi, I would like to wish a uh, happy Mother's Day for all the people out there who have, still have mothers. Um, I still have my mother. Um, you know, she's going to be 80 this year, and although she's not the perfect mother, I still I still love her, and I I feel grateful that um, I have my life because of her, and uh, that. She, that she cared for me and uh, anyway uh, I will I will I would like to um, I, I, would I would like to wish a happy Mother's Day for uh, for um, all the pe people out there who don't have mothers and and for and I and I and for for um, women that uh, are were, are trying hard to be mothers, but for some reason or another they just can't be mothers. Uh, I mean, for 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 mothers of children that are not their own, and uh, I would also like to bring up um, my. Mothers in Scripture, like, uh, like, like Mar Mary, the uh, mother of Jesus, who uh, who became who can became pregnant with Jesus from the Holy Spirit, and uh, there's also um, Sarah and um, Elizabeth, um, two women in Scripture who are, who are elderly, who who. Um, Lived their lives without bearing children, and suddenly um, God gave, gave them conception, and they bore children, and uh, and also also Han Hannah, the um, w woman who pr pr prayed to um, have a child of her own, so so that she could give her give him to the Lord, and. and uh, And and, uh, and um, Rachel and Leah, two two women that um, were married to um, Jacob that that bore children that became the um, the twelve patriarchs of the um, nation of Israel. And uh, I like to bring up scripture, uh, speaking about the th um, mother that we. All have in faith, um, and it's in, it's in Galatians um, chapter four. Um, Tell me, you who desire to be under the law, do you not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born according to the flesh, and he of the free woman through promise, which things are symbolic. For these are the two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which gives birth to bondage, which is Hagar. For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to Jerusalem, which now is, and is in bondage with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice, O barren, you who do not bear, Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor, for the desolate has many more children than she who has a husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are, chil are children of promise. But as he who was born according to the flesh then persecuted him who was born according to the Spirit, even so it is now. Nevertheless, what does the scripture say? Cast out the bond woman and her son, for the son of the bond woman shall not be heir the son of the free one. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. Now, those scriptures point out that uh, that that we're under uh, new covenant, which which is um, instituted through Christ's death on the cross, and uh, apparently we're engrafted into um, God's family. I mean. Both um, Jews and Gentiles, and um, we're, 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 I mean, we're we're adopted through through um, 
in Jerusalem, which is above, um, with, which is the mother of us all, and uh, anyway, I, I, I wouldn't share um, something for, for this Mother's Day, and uh, I just, I mean. I really don't have much more to say on this, so have a good day, and God bless you.